This is the Willow Leaf Sage. I've mentioned these before in other videos. But what I didn't say is that this is a medicinal herb. This is back in my backyard. In fact, if you look up there, there's my coop. So in my fence part of my backyard where part of the dog run. But this is lyre leaf sage growing pretty well and it hasn't been mowed. So this is a good spot to show you. Now, I've known that lyre leaf sage well, for a long time. I've been familiar, well, for a very long time I've been familiar with lyre leaf sage and that it was a wildflower native to this part of the country and beautiful. Um, there are a couple of other names for lyre leaf sage. Well, one of them was just wild sage. You know, people call it wild sage. And other people call it lyre leaf sage because the, the leaves are shaped much like the musical instrument, the lyre. Down in there, the basal leaves. And it has just basal leaves. They're shaped like a lyre, the musical instrument. It's a stringed instrument, the lyre. One of the other name, common names for it is cancer weed. It was a folk remedy for cancer. Well, I'm sure probably not very effective against cancer, but yet it was still a folk rem remedy for cancer. So, in looking up this, this plant, I've been looking up plants that are common to this area because I'm finding that a lot of the things that are native to this area, the native wildflowers, have also been used for centuries as medicinal plants. And this is one of them. Now we know that sage, the garden sage, Salvia officinalis, is a medicinal plant as well as a, uh, yeah, as a culinary herb. But lyre leaf sage also is a, is a medicinal plant. And let's look at it closely. It's in the mint family. Talked about it before. It has square stems. You can see the square stems on it. Square stems, typical mint flowers. You recognize these flowers as belonging to a mint. Mints have flowers that look like these. Over here, look at this one. That's a good one. So it's a mint. In the mint family, square stems. When it produces seeds, the seeds, you can actually look inside these little cups. That's, that's the fruit. And inside there, you can look inside it. And you can see the seeds just from holding it open and looking at it. And when they turn dark, you know they're ripe. So there it is. So what is it good for? One of my favorite websites is called Plants for a Future. P-F-A-F, I believe it's .org. Plants for a Future. And it tells all kinds of things about plants. So uses, culinary uses, medicinal uses, how to grow it. It's a really, really good website. And if you haven't visited, I recommend it. But I looked it up there. I mean, there were lots of places to look it up, but I trust this place. And it says that it is, has medicinal uses. It's a diaphoretic. That means it's for coughs and colds. It's mildly laxative, but at the same time, it's often used for diarrhea. So that's kind of confusing. So basically, it helps your gut. It's used as salve, a salve. Um, the salve is used for wounds and sores. The fresh leaves are used as a, as a remedy for warts. You know, warts are caused by virus. I don't know that it really cures the warts, but I think a lot of that is as you think it's going to, and so it does. So, and then again, so that's it. So it's got medicinal uses. It's used for a salve. But I would imagine if you're gonna make it into a salve, you would want to extract it in oil 
because then the oil can be can be used to make a salve. It's all parts of it. The roots. So the roots were used for sores. So here it is, a very common wildflower in this area. In other parts of the country, maybe it's not quite as common. But where I live, this is a very, very common plant. And I'm happy to have it in my, growing in my garden and in my yard. Now I have dug it up and I have moved parts of it into my herb garden because I do want to keep it. And out here in the grass, it's going to get mowed. But it is perennial, so it's going to come back up again next year. So that's okay. So here we go. Besides just being a pretty roadside wildflower, native wildflower, that blooms this time of year in the late spring to early summer, we have a beautiful, valuable medicinal herb. So bye y'all. See you next time. <laughs>